Yeah. Right, so welcome to your class. Yeah, so, um, or another, uh, yeah, I was asked about shoulder width stance. So, as was quite rightly pointed out, some people have different body shapes, which is great. So you can think of a shoulder width as being the width of your shoulders. It can also be hip width. That could be here or here. Or another rule of thumb is a two fist gap between your knees. That's another, um, that's another one. Um, let me just uh, roll up my trouser legs. So you can see my knees. Okay, so have your feet shoulder stroke hip stroke two fist gap width apart and just feel the ground under your feet, sink your hips and lengthen through the spine and just take a few slow deep breaths. So I just rolled these up so you can see that my knees are in line with the toes, you want to slowly draw gently draw the uh, the toes in you also want to rotate the hips so that the knees are in line with the toes and then sink your hips sink your shoulders lengthen up through the spine softly gaze forward as you listen behind and above I'll roll these back down again a bit chilly in this room so Breathing in and out. Just take a few slow, deep breaths. And then turn the waist. So just turn your head in line with your centre. Keep breathing. Raise the arms. Okay, relax the shoulders, relax the, the feet. Let's come back to your posture. Feel nice and tall through the body. And we're just going to transfer the weight from one foot to the other.
So keep going. I've just got to, re I've realised I've not switched all the lights on. I thought it was a bit dark in here. That's better. Great. Ah, fabulous. I thought it's going to be still a bit dark. I thought, oh yeah. So relax around the hips and just feel the back lengthen and you want to aim your weight to go through the bubbling well point, the entron point, just behind the ball of each foot. Lengthen through body. Okay, come back to the middle. Check your posture. Check that you're correctly aligned. That you've got the feeling. You can really feel the feet on the ground. Feel nice and tall and that all of your joints have got lots of space, got room to move. Breathing in and breathing out. And tune into your springs, and then we'll do that one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 14, relax the shoulders, sink the hips, feel the springs in the body, and then turn around the elbow joint so that the palms are and change that from the side
Relax the shoulders. Okay, check your posture again. Oh dear, looks like Chris and Mike have vanished. <laughs> That's the problem with Swaff and Pryor, the internet. The internet doesn't always... Uh... Excellent. Uh, you've, you've not missed much. We're just doing this one now. So really let go in your Ming then. So the gate of life point, uh, I think it's in about L, is it L45, something like that, I don't know. Is it? If, if you know, <laughs> write it in the chat, I've forgotten. Um. Oh, you're back. Well, you didn't miss much. You can catch up on the video. I'll be, I'm trying to get the videos out pretty much from the off. So we just, we'll do Barry's one, we'll do 20 of those, we'll do four more of these though, one, two, three, four, let's check your posture, and then make a, a fist, and you're stimulating your Laogong point with your middle finger, so you, you, and so it's like a soft, soft stimulation, and you come up, and you can actually do a, um, let your heels leave for both parts i've noticed he's been doing so he comes up like that and then so he does like a i've been doing the double whammy version so we'll do 20 of these one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Nice. Just relax the shoulders. And wobbling. Deep breathing. Lengthen through the spine. Okay, have a little shake out. So transfer your weight. Raise the knee. I'll show you that. So you're raising the knee. And one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. If you need to use the wall, have it that side. Seven, eight, other side. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, other way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. And down. Check your posture. I'll roll that one up so you can see the knee. So get your balance first, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five hips level, six, seven, eight, other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Oh. Horse stance. So you can have the feet out. You can have the feet parallel. I'm, I'm having mine out, and you're just going to transfer. You don't have to go as deep as me either. You can have a pony. You know, it's fine. Just make sure it's a horse you can get on and off of easily, yeah? So this isn't... Uh, these are all exercises I've done, um, kind of combinations of what I've done with Barry and what I've done with Eva, Eva Kaskuba. This is from Eva. Okay, now go into this leg and then you're moving your hip back and forward. And two, three four, five, six, we'll just stop at eight, seven and eight because this is a bit character building. <laughs> well, this is very good for your leg. Three, four, that's Tai Chi teacher code. Five, six, <laughs> seven, you have been warned. Eight. Oh, thank goodness for that. Right, now we're going to go ball of the foot, ball of the foot, heel, heel. So we're... And we're nice and tall in the, um, the spine. So these are all from Chen style. And we're breathing. We're breathing. And we've got loads of room. Make your legs really strong. And we're all breathing. Okay, right, that's enough of that. Let's go in the other direction. I think we should do Iron Butterfly as well. You'll love Iron Butterfly. It's one of my favourite exercises. There's a really good video of Barry doing the Iron Butterfly. Um, but just to kind of qualify that, you can do exercise with any shape and body type, it's fine. Don't, you know, don't feel obliged to look as skinny and rubbery as him. That's just kind of a bit, it's not very usual that. Just, you know. Okay, that's enough of that. Shake out. Whew! Goodness me. Oh! Okay, let's, uh, yeah, one, two, so it's good to have a nice warm up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Now change directions. Notice I'm using the whole of my body to move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathing, very nice. One, other side so you're not wonky. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other direction. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. With the um, spinal wave, I'll show you that from the diagonal view. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Dragon serves teacups. One, we'll do ten. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then moving dragon serves teacups. Ten of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, next, um, Iron Butterfly. I'll um, I'll show you it. I'll do a quick kind of explanation. So yeah, that is open. I'm really glad I went indoors. It's all grey out there now. So um, you, we'll do the, the the upright version. So you like this, and you go like that. And like that we're going to do 10 and when we've done our 10 you go into a horse stance again make sure the horse is a size you can cope with and then you go left shoulder bend the bow right shoulder and we do eight of those and then we interlock the fingers we stretch up you turn to the left turn to the right over to the left over to the right Leg straight, back straight. Now, if you want, you can come all the way down, open the chest, and come up, or you might want to modify it. So I'm, I'm going to do the full version, but in a in an upright stance. When you do the big version, you're actually in a horse stance. But that that's showing off. So we'll do we'll do the um, iron butterfly light version today the smart butterfly you know but uh, Barry's done a brilliant video of this um, it's quite rippled you know quite <laughs> right quite quite ripped the ripped version but don't don't feel obliged to look like that you know people can be fit and healthy and have all sorts of sizes I just wanted to you know because of body image and all that and yeah so anyway, let's just, uh, nice and tall. Remember, it's an iron butterfly. 
So think tough thoughts. So we make a fist and we, we put them out like that. And that even, even so, I've still got them slightly forward, so I'm not putting any strain on my chest. And then we go like this, we look, we come around, we pull, one, two. Now normally he does 20, but because we're doing them slowly, we're doing 10, three, four. Of those of you that come to me swap from prior class, you will be getting a phone call at some point to, so we can have a vote. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, your left shoulder, your left shoulder. One, two, three, four. Right shoulder, two. Sink the hips, three. Four. Five. So if you want the video for Iron Butterfly, send me a link, send me an email, I will send you the link from Barry. Six, seven, and eight. Then you bring your feet in to check your Wu Chi stance. Make sure that is just so. Just spend a bit of time getting yourself nice and upright then we interlock the fingers and we stretch up but you keep your shoulders sinking in the the socket turn to your left so you look sleepy tiger eyes to the left turn to your right back to the middle over to the left over to the right back to the middle legs straight arms are back straight Fold in the hip, come down, go onto the ball of each foot, open the chest, and then push with the feet to come back up. Sink the hips. Check your posture. We'll do two more. Turn to the left, turn to the right, back to the middle. Over to the left, over to the right back to the middle. Legs straight, back straight. Open. And then come up. Hi Darren. Hi. Bonjour. We're just doing this. So turn to the left. Turn to the right. Back to the middle. Over to the left. Over to the right back to the middle, legs straight, back straight, open the chest and then come back up. Right, I'll just make sure everybody's muted and then, uh, brilliant, we've got a full, uh, So just check your check your posture and then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nice and tall, rolling forwards, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rolling back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, over and under, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, and then wiggle the fingers, come up and down. Three, four, and five. Okay, hands on the hips, circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, big chancy, big. Big coiling silk. Two, three, four. One more time. All the way. both so actually we'll just do one just do one so you can place your hand on your dantian or on your shoulder just to feel that just feel what's happening in your shoulder joint come a bit closer it's like this okay now go in the other direction if you can we'll just have the other hand you can have it relaxed or you can have it monitoring the hip, whatever works. Okay, other side. Other way. Okay, now both. So when you're doing both, you're not doing the turn as much. It's more like it's more like the um, spinal wave thing that we were doing with the elbow exercise okay change so it comes in the other direction I'll show you that from the back So you want to connect your body, feel that your body is connected, that you're moving in an engaged manner. Yeah. So one, one guy I really like watching is uh, Master Fred Howe. He's, he's very connected the way he moves. He does a different style to Chen style. He does Chen Man Ching style. He's very, very nice to see. Um, I, I sent him some music because <laughs> I, I subscribe to his channel. So uh, he liked it. So hopefully coming back into the UK next year. So he normally lives in Taiwan. Great. So um, yeah, let's just continue with this vein. We'll go a bit slower. So this is it in slow motion. So let's show you that from the from the back.
Okay, try that the other side. Just so start slow. See, don't worry if you haven't quite got it. Just do something so that the hand, if you look, the hand's going away. The hand's going away. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, you got half. Good job. Good job. So, this is complicated. <laughs> Nice and relaxed though, you know. So um yeah, just, just shake out it. So when when you get when your teacher throws something at you that's really that you just don't really can't really do and it's a bit unfathomable, what you need to do first and foremost is just completely relax. Just relax and go, ah oh, this is really complicated. Oh, I feel great. And then you'll feel brilliant. And um there's this one um, I can't do it yet. It kind of goes like that, then it goes like that, and 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 then it goes like that, but I haven't quite got it yet. But the important thing is, as soon as I could see I couldn't do it, what he was doing at all, I thought, I know this feeling, and then I just went, oh. Oh, I feel great and I wasn't doing it at all but it doesn't matter because I was relaxed so that's what that's what you need to do when you get when you get something complicated just relax and eventually because um, there's a lot of these nifty body movements I'm going to look at it it's a singer silk reeling exercise I've been doing singer silk reeling with him on a Tuesday morning and um, he's actually been sending us the recordings so I, I was having a look at it earlier but I still haven't quite got it but there's a lot of waist turning. But as soon as I've got that one, um, I'm going to start doing some of the singer silk reeling because they're fabulous. They're really nice to do. Ha 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 ha! Tumpty Oh yeah. We just. So opens, closes. So it goes one, two, three. That's it. One, two, three. So if you find something tricky, just do something in a relaxed manner. Opens, closes. So it's it from the side. It comes this way, it opens. So it's all in the waist. It's all in the waist. Have a look from the back. So nice and relaxed, really soft. So you turn, you turn, and you turn. So it's, it's no different than this exercise. If we just go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Now, now go back to this. One, two, three. One, see, it's the same. Three. One, two, three, 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 one, bit slower. Now we got into the rhythm. Yeah. Keep breathing though, very nice.
keep breathing one more each side that's it shake out so yeah don't, don't worry if you know if, if, if the video will be coming out have a look at the video and and you can pause it and look at it again that's what i've been doing with corel's one this one that he does i can't, don't know how it goes but um i'll just be watching it until i can do it basically so um yeah Okay, and then down. And finish the one you're on. Nice and relaxed. So just feeling connected, breathing in and out, feeling the arms are very light and soft and relaxed and connected to the rest of your body. shake out okay oh water break oh dear sorry about that how naughty oh I'll get told off by Simon Hannah sorry Simon <laughs> dreadful dreadful yeah we, we're supposed to have a water break To see what people have been. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I know water break. It's it's because of uh, Forever Active. They they insist on water breaks. That's fine. If if anyone has to either arrive late or leave early, that's perfectly cool. Everybody, that's that's fine. That's kind of you know because some of you have a thing called a life you know what i mean so you can't i mean i have to be here for the duration because obviously i'm teaching unless the interweb uh cuts off but um you guys can do what you like you know hmm we'll do some more silk reeling <laughs> so silk reeling is very nice <clears throat> so get into your horse stance and again you can have a small horse you can have a cart horse you can have a parallel feet horse my my feet feel more comfortable if I have them out a bit but every everybody's different so I'll have a, a kind of medium sized horse. Now the important thing is, is you're sinking your hips. If I show you that from the side. And you're, you're tall and your chin is holding the small ball. It's resting on the small ball floating on water. 
You want this soft focus gaze in the eyes. So traditionally it's called sleepy tiger eyes, but it, it's basically relaxed but alert gaze. So you're not like glaring, but you're not completely passive. It's this, this mildly kind of mild assertion, I guess you could call it like that. Like, like what you get in libraries, you know, now the libraries are back open again. And the librarians, I've got a lot of respect for librarians, they're fabulous, they're really good at the sleepy tiger eye look. And they, they keep you quiet, they just sort of look and you just go, ooh, brilliant. When, when I was at college, you know, noisy 16 year olds and we'd be all chatting and then the librarian would just look at us and we'd all go, <laughs> magic, magic. So, we'll just do this one. So remember, it goes out of the way, that's it. Very nice, there you go. So you want to feel that you're using your back. So it's almost like the back's made of springs and it's pulled your arm. And we're breathing. So yeah, I've been... Um, those of you that like the music, there's... Um, looking at mixes of these... This EP I'm doing birdie things and I'll be... I'm doing very slowly a solo project as well. So, and also very slowly the bird song and soaking music album thing. I need someone that understands how to get rid of horrible sounds in the studio because I tried to do it myself, <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, So lots and lots of creativity, just no products yet. So you just want to feel that the arm is floating. And then relax, relax around your shoulder joint. Remember the shoulders, this nice ball and socket joint that, that's a freely movable joint, you know, when it's not being impeded by one reason or the other, like too much viola playing or <laughs> marvellous. Okay, let that let that relax and then and you can monitor your hip that way, or I like to put my hand where I can feel my iguinal groove, my inguinal groove, my qua, my lower qua, my um, hip joint. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm not making my arms roundy enough. I got told off by Ever the other day. Make your arms more roundy so you don't get told off by Ever. Roundify your arms. Well, rounderize. Yeah. Now that's Arnold Rimmer. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah. I just like the cat. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem when I'm back indoors again. I don't get photobombed by the cat or neighbours on their way to work or housemates on their way to work or whatever. It's a bit... And builders on the train site and, you know... I have to concentrate. It's just no good, is it? I will keep breathing. Breathing and out through your nose. And tune into that very calm, still, quiet place. Very nice. That was so nice. We're going to change the exercise now. So back to the original arm. And we're just doing silk reading number two. So we'll do lots of silk reading and then we'll have a look at why tape offers fruit. Otherwise we won't have done any stepping. But um, I did a lot of silk reading with both Eva and Corel this week already, so I'm, I'm really getting into it. Um, yeah, she's teaching a class at 9am on a Sunday. I've been invited to go. That's Tai Chi teacher code. <laughs> Come to my class on Sunday morning at horrible o'clock. So hopefully if I've learned anything useful that I can pass on, she's doing certain sets of Qigong. Uh, which I'll be learning, but once I've learnt them, I'll pass them on because they're they're lovely. They are. And the other side. <coughs> I 
We're a little bit late starting because I was messing about so uh, we'll carry on you'll get your full hour those of you that come for the hour relax the shoulders okay now sneak the other one in again keep your shoulders relaxed lengthen through the spine keep breathing Change directions. Open the palms. It's nice rounded shape in the hands as well. And light in the arms. Very light and floaty. Okay, we'll do one more. We'll have a bit of a rest. Have a little shake out because that is very good for the legs. <laughs> uh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, let's do middle winding. Middle winding. Again, you, you don't. You can just do it. Yeah, don't go really low. Just, just be be on a miniature pony stance, everybody. Let's just let's just take it easy. Yeah. Oh. Miniature pony stuff. It's very easy. You go like this: one, two, three. See, simples. We did this one on Tuesday. Just don't blink when you're watching. <laughs> it's alright. I won't look. I won't look. I'll turn round. I won't look. See, simples. I mean, what, what could be simpler than this movement? Lots of things. Lots of things could be simpler than this movement. It's all about, it's all about the connection. Connection and just, lovely. There you go. No problem. Marvellous, very good. Uh, push away the mountain. This one's relatively easy. Straight your arm, bend your arm, push away the mountain. <sighs> Straighter arm, bend your arm, push away the mountain. Now, there's a lower, you can do a lower down version. When you push away the mountain, you can push away the mountain like that if you want but I, I quite like doing the horizontal push but the push is matching the movement of the weight through the legs see so it's not going no further really it's really good oh. Okay, one more mountain to push. So, it's, so the climb every mountain, it's push every mountain. Right, stop that right now. Sorry. Okay. Moving on, swiftly on. Oh dear. You can see why I don't have many people in my classes, can't you? Uh, white ape offers fruit. So. So it's very easy, we go like this, we open. So this is just the demonstration, demonstration, observe, observe. I'll, I'll do it with the counting. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, and eight. Oh, I've stuck an extra number in. A white ape offers fruit. Right, chorus, join in. So yeah, I was at the folk club last night. I was joining in all the choruses, but we couldn't hear anyone because we're all on mute, obviously, because of the delay. It was been a, a mess. But funnily enough, you can jam if you're playing improvised music because that's already a mess. So. Doesn't matter a couple of seconds delay, you know, it's just... So, see if you can feel the connections. I would just... We're breathing, we're breathing, and lengthen through the spine. So you wanna really focus on your um, correct alignment and that the arms move with the body. Or the body moves, the body moves the arms. That's it, the body moves the arms. Right, we'll we'll do another couple of we'll do another couple of rows. Well, we'll do a row that way, and then we'll do a row that way. So one one of my friends is um, is a knitter. So she was explaining knit. Well, tried to explain knitting to. I didn't didn't quite get it, but that's okay. <laughs> I'd be more interested if it had a combat element to it. Kind of. Martial knitting, right. But it is quite meditative, I'll, I'll give it that. So you wanna tune into that very quiet space. There we go. Marvellous, so. That was so good. We'd better stop the lot. Stop on the one you're on when you finished it, because you don't want to not. You know, we we won't ruin it by doing it more. That was that was almost perfect. That was. So just feel the ground under your feet. Lengthen. Really own your space and feel comfortable. So you want to always want to move from a a feeling of peace and comfort. That's especially important. When your teacher froze, there was, there was another one they did. It went like that, and then like that, and then I still not got it. So I, because I, I could feel I hadn't got it, I thought, right, I better relax even more. And then even though what I'm doing is wrong, it didn't look less wrong because I was relaxed and very confident, even though I'm completely fudging this move. So, but it looked quite good. <laughs> so there you go. That's how you, how to get away with it. I know we just do this, we just turn, so uh, very useful trick, so uh, like for those of you that run run the hall, just be really relaxed all the time when people talk to you, they think you'll know what you're doing, you'll, you'll fool them completely, be great, so um, Yeah, there's only one person at Forever Active that like does all the admin. That's why we're having to <laughs> wait till June. I'm very happy to wait till June because there'll be even more immune people around by then, and it'll be even super safer. You know, I'm, I'm all for I'm all for safety. I am. Okay, and then we just breathe in and out. Embrace a tiger, return to the mountain. So, um, for the next class, I'm just going to carry on through till ten past. 
um, with a very, very, very short break. Okay, and then rub the hands together. So we'll look super young this afternoon and polish the face. Rub the hands together and give the lower back a rub. That's the best bit of the entire class, isn't it? Next to tea time. That's my favourite bit, tea and... Um, yeah, I didn't have my cake yet. I got given some nice cakes. I don't want to eat them, but I'm going to have to wait. So there you go. So, embrace the tiger return to the mountain. Rule five, know when it's tea time. Very important. So we'll be getting our tea later. We'll get ours at Christian's, won't we, Darren? Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. They do, she does She does a great cup of tea, does Vic. Brilliant. One more time. Nice and tall. Nice and tall. And then make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top. Bring your feet together and bow. So we'll pause for a very short extra water break and then we're, we're going to have a look at the um, shilly, shilly exercises uh, from each one. But just relax. Well done, well done, Mike and Chris. Um, <laughs> no worries. Yeah, yeah. I've Fabulous. At your clock. What's the life? <laughs> yeah, brilliant. I'm, I'm having tea. I shall shoot for two o'clock. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come, come. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Just 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 join in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
Okay, right. Let's just look at, at this one. We'll, we'll put it in the um, lifting water. So we're back in Wu Chi. Get your position first. And we've got, actually, we'll, we'll do this one first just to feel that shoulder joint. So we've got the, the big marble balls, the big marble spheres. Okay, now lifting water or bo shui and then down and then you sink and then you come up. I'll show you that from the diagonal. So you imagine you're, imagine you're standing in a very calm sea and you've got beautiful blue sky and beautiful sunshine and hopefully there's some uh, those big brollies and a nice uh, I, I, I have alcohol free cocktails they're great so I'm waiting for you at the beach and um, you're breathing and relaxed Okay, and then and then we'll do the uh, the reverse of that, where you imagine a, a ball, a beach ball that's in the water, and it pushes up into your hands, and then the hands, if I show you from the diagonal, come forwards and down, and then you pull the ball in, and then it floats up into your hands because of the so you push the ball into the water, comes down. And then open close. So I'm coming slightly forward as I close, I'm coming slightly back as I open. You can do it the other way around, but this is what I'm doing today. Okay, so let, let's have a look and do those exercises that we've just done, but in our each one stance. So we start here, shall show, show more from the front. So we come up and down. So I go to an each one class every Tuesday now and I also go to a monthly day workshop in it so
Might I try some e-tron punching actually for our quarter of an hour at the end there rather than the because we could do the jab cross hook punching uh tomorrow in the um in the classes although those of you that fancy coming to the tuesday morning at forever active thing get in touch with forever active and they'll get you on the system um oh yeah they'll they'll sort you out i can't do none of that because i'm complete completely at sea other side other side when it when it comes to uh things admin and computational i let them do that I'm, I'm rubbish and also i'm not interested it's not a tai chi movement it's not a piece of music so i really have absolutely no interest at all but do get on <laughs> they get funding if people go through this thing called clubs so um really good really nice very easy going class on the tuesday so it's all basics all good for beginners Okay, and then change sides so you're not murderizing your leg too much. And we'll just do the. So remember, we'll show a leg. Let's <laughs> just. Yeah, make sure for later on, Darren, you dress up warm, mate. It's a bit chilly out there. Yeah, cool. Yeah, loads of layers. Yeah, we we do a community music thing. Darren Darren plays the guitar, and we. We go and entertain our friend. So, from the top, this looks very similar to Ping Chui Shilly, actually. Okay, try the other side. Just let me. Then I've only got one cold leg at a time, so that's all right. Very similar to Ping Tray Shilly, but there's an extra vertical circle involved actually. So it's almost like a wave crashing down, and then the wave comes in and then goes up and then crashes down. Keep breathing some more. Fabulous. And then um, Kaika Shilly, open close. other side just let your arms relax just check your posture and we just so I did this on Tuesday night very good that's it yeah good job okay we'll do two more So um, you can uh, go for a little walk.
Yeah, we'll do ping tray walking. So you sink. So um, what, what am I doing? So as I pull my hands in, my foot gets pulled in, and then I step out, and then I come forward at the moment. You know, these things are a little bit open to interpretation and expression. So it's best not to get, especially with each one, it's one of these arts that you don't really get stuck on too much. You just sort of... Yeah, we'll just do each one for the final quarter of an hour as well, just while I'm on a bit of an each one. So you're operating from this very still, quiet place. Hmm. Okay, so um yeah. Let's uh bum 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 so the the step in so you can one, two, three, one. So you, you kind of so it's almost like you're going to go that way and then you change your mind. So you go right foot, left foot, right and you move. So we could just try that. One two, three. Or you could go one, two, three, four. So yes. I'm, I'm still haven't quite got that but it's quite fun to do. So it's like you want to go that way but you actually want to go that way. You want to go that way but actually you want to go that way. So it's, it's a directional change, very useful um, and you're more, more light on the feet. Um, and then there's also one bum 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 bum. So da, 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 da. you can do little movements with the uh, with the feet, and then with the, the abrupt changes, that's where your far gin your far gin type movements come in. And that that's when we do the bouncing. When we do the bouncing earlier, that's where all this comes in for the bum. So we, yeah. So what we we'll do, um, we we'll just start nice and. So you've got that one. That's it, yeah. So we step, step. Dee 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 dee. Yeah. There we go, and we we just sort of. So I've been watching uh, Sway Rubin, Master Sway Rubin, and um, people like that doing the, doing the. Um, Jan Wu, the uh, health dance and fight fighting dance, martial dance from so you can also so you've got the big big circle big circle that way so you've got like a big beach ball and then you've got the melon and then you've got the uh, or you've got the satsuma or you've got the poppy pips, you know, poppy seats, so you can, and then you, you can just do your, so you've got those movements, you've got those movements, so we haven't done that one yet, we'll do that one later, and you can just basically just turn it into an improvised health dance, so you've got your kicks, you've got that kick, they, they've got this kick that comes up and out to the side. It's like a, looks, I think I saw a similar kick to that in Weichiru Karate. It's called something else now, Weichiru. But it, like that, and then that one. So you, you. You can do your punching if you can remember your punching. You can come, boof, and just do your, like a bit of sort of like a cross between a, a shadow boxing and just some nice, nice sort of, yeah, get your groove on, you know. So you can even, if you, if you can't think of anything to do, just do your, do your moving, um, 
Dragon Serves Teacups. You can even do this version of Dragon Serves Teacups and you know just kind of make it Okay, so yeah, it's, it's it's quite interesting. I'm I'm really getting into the Jan Wu. I try and I try and do a little bit of Jan Wu every day actually, and you never know what's gonna what's gonna come out. You know, it's uh, but yeah, trying to keep it all all contained. It's quite it's quite fun, <laughs> good fun. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at this one later because we. We had a look at that the other day. Um, I forgot the name of it in Chinese, but never mind. Let's do uh, triple heater to finish off. Because you, you have to leave it too, don't you? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. So. Actually, before we do that, let's do this one. So just breathe in. Cool, it makes me really hot. Whew. I love the jam wheel. I just really like it. It's really, it's like jamming. It's like jamming, but but with your own body. Oh, I love jamming. Okay, now we're doing triple heater. So, so I really like this last bit. It's a little embellishment from Corel, but I just think it's it's just lovely the way he does it. It's just beautiful. I've warmed up nicely now doing all that. Doesn't take a lot for the Jan Wu to really, really good workout for your heart. Really good workout for your heart. One more round. So yeah, do feel free, come to any of my classes. You've <laughs> just, just gate crash. If you haven't got the money to pay for lots of them, just come anyway, you know, I don't care. And uh, shake out and then embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. And then we'll, we'll be extra young today. One more time. And then. Uh, yeah, rub the hands together so we're super young today. Like, you know, we'll have like well smooth faces of wrinkle freeness. So, free chi facelift with every class. Uh, And then rub your back. Fabulous. Okay, and then just stand for a moment and we'll we'll just finish with a few more embrace tigers. So yeah, just, just come to as much or as a little as a class as you want. I'll be teaching the full thing. You can always watch it in the video after, so it's no problem. One more time. Just feeling the ground under your feet. Really stand correctly.
Make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, feet together and bow. Brilliant, well done. I'll see you in about an hour. Well done, Darren. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, good job, mate. Good job, mate. Right, so we're going to have a look at, um, we're going to go back to this one, do it really slow. And then, uh, just to get that, and just notice, so there's almost like a kind of, there was that, that Werner Herzog film from the 1970s, uh, Nosferatu. I'm sure he... he <laughs> that, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, so... I'll move, I'll move this down a bit because um, then you can see the feet a bit better. Yeah. So it just... Yeah, it was it was a bit cold outside. It was it was lovely and warm this morning, and then it just got freight cold. So I thought, no, I'll go back in the indoorsy bit. So just notice what you're sensing. So rather than actively trying to do stuff, it's more of moving things out of the way so the movement happens. It's the best explanation I can come up with. Try it on the other side. When I was with Corel on, on Tuesday, he, he doesn't really explain what he's doing. Or if he does explain what he's doing, you can't understand the explanation, so it's kind of pointless. So um, you just watch what he's doing and, and, and try and move in an as unimpeded fashion as you possibly can to do the movement correctly. It's a bit like playing by ear. It's the same, actually the exact same mechanism as playing by ear. You just need to get out the way and just let the music happen itself. It's the same thing, same thing. So we're just breathing. Okay, so that, there's that one. Now have a look at this one. I'll do it in slow motion. Now I'm not doing it as well as Corel, but it's not far off. So you, you imagine leaves that you've scooped up and then you allow, so it kind of comes back. So there's this, actually, if we do, yeah, if we go, we'll, we'll backtrack. If we do this one, one, two, three. So you can, these are firing out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So feel the springs. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Okay, we'll try that. We'll try that the other side. So nice and tall. Gonna do twenty. And just one, two, three, four. Try a bit quicker. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But relax. The faster you go, the more relaxed. Then fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So that mechanism of the, the this part going back in fact you can push yourself that's like um this bit when i did this with um ferris ferris jurgis in newcastle very very good uh, practitioner and this movement backwards is actually uh, if someone's kind of grabbing hold of you and you, you kind of turn slightly and then you go boom you can actually hit them he, he did this thing 
on my thigh and he hit it with his with his butt and I kind of went there and ended up on the floor so it's actually quite a powerful stroke and when you do it with this movement so I'll go back a bit so this is it in slow-mo and it's like your uh, yeah I've got the blue t-shirt here what else uh, yeah oh another blue t-shirt right double blue t-shirt they're both mine yes they are so see yeah I'll, I'll, I'll show that again for my next trick so you kind of come up and then um, and then you know it's all it's all in uh, yeah so just just do it slow though to start off with yeah no worries just do do something just do something so you can it, it doesn't have to if you if your body doesn't um, um, got things going on with it you just work out how to adapt it for how you personally function because uh, that's what all Barry student you know uh, pretty much lots of us have got um, arthritis in various joints and that with Barry and it's the same with ever we've all got different things going on so you just have to be able to apply the principle to how you personally work rather than try and fit in with this ideal that isn't actually appropriate so that's fine so we just so we just do that and try that the other side then eventually you do it as a so you you do that as a um, he calls it hitting the nails in the wood so if you have a big wooden post and it's got a big thick nail with a big nail head and then you just poof, drive the nails into the post it's quite good so bang bang it's just very satisfying one two three one two i've only got room for three and when i'm in this room and and try and avoid well you can just go one two three four five one two three four five so, but the, the important thing is you keep nice and floppy fine. Okay, let's have a look at the... Um, this is the each one punching. I mean, I, it's more for mechanics, uh, mechanical principles. If I was to punch, which I actually wouldn't punch, I'd, I'd use either legs to run away or I'd use slaps or fists, um, hammer fists or elbows or knees or hit them with something you know fist it because I you know I need to protect my fingers because of playing so yeah but um so as you you punch if I do it in slow motion I've got a split happening between my feet so this foot digs in that way this foot digs out that way and it makes like a spiral that you unwind the spiral and if you look at my body this is the body mechanics for the for the punch and again I'm not because this is each one I'm trying to avoid moving my knee too much so there's this there's a, a spiral downwards into that leg and there's a spiral upwards through that so there's like um in terms of the in terms of what's happening I think I might be wrong just from what I've observed Corel do and then this this move so this is like when we're doing this 
and then as you're doing that this shoulder comes forward and this shoulder naturally swings back yeah let's just do that I might stick with just doing each one actually for the three quarters of an hour. I quite like I quite like the idea of that. And we'll try that the other side so you're not wonky. So you can you can feel Keep it going. Oh, there's another what's that? Yeah. 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 You need. You need. You need to. It. It just helps with a, getting an idea of how things are moving. It just helps keep your body working for longer. Really, avoid all fights as well. That really helps. Okay, and then and then we're just doing this. So you you kind of tone it down a bit. Okay, I'll try that the other side. One, two. So that's a little bit exaggerated. Eventually it's much quieter. But so it's it all works together. That's it. And then when you do the double punch, you go one, two. One, two. So he actually punches forward on the jab. Whereas normally when we jab, we, we kind of tend, at least in the style I do, we tend to jab on the back foot. But you can jab on the front foot as well. It's just because the, cause I do a kicking art. If you spend too much time on your front leg and someone kicks it, you're, that's not a good thing. So, But for this, this thing, I'll show you from the front. That's it. So we'll... Well, yeah, well, next few weeks, I'm just going to do each one for 45 minutes. Yeah, try, try that on the other side. If you want. You can watch the video as well. So I just go like this, step. So there's little, little subtle shifts of the weight. And then just for completion's sake, you go one, two, one, two. And then don't hit the bookshelf, bad. One, <laughs> two. So I'm, I'm aiming for the same target. One, two, one, two. Well, watch out, don't, don't hit the wall. And then I change, one, two, one, two. Now when Corel does it, see it from the front who sometimes goes right out to the side just to kind of get that stretch um, so that that's quite that's quite good oh gosh right I better stop because I've got to get ready to go and uh, play some music but um, let's just do this one just breathe in breathe out so, calm in the chi. Breathing. So breathe in and out.
and then embrace a tiger, return to the mountain. Breathing in and out. And then finish. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Boom. Uh.